Hello, welcome to this bookshelf. My name is Ariel Roshi. And today I'm going to be doing, oh my gosh, I, I've always been avoiding reviewing this book because I'm like, am I gonna put all the facts? Am I gonna put, am I gonna put enough facts? Am I gonna put too little? Am I gonna, am I gonna put too much? This, that. <sighs> Dragon Master Special Edition. Griff's Guide for Dragon Masters. He has a thousand facts in this book. How am I ever going to express them all out to you? Which I'm not. So there are some things you might want to read. So on the back it says, Congratulations. You have been chosen by the Dragonstone. Here's your official. That means important. Very, very, very important. And Judy B. Jones says that official makes you immediately taller. Yep, I think that's working. Anyway, it says, Congratulations, you have been chosen by the Dragonstone. Here's your official Dragon Master Guide. Inside, you'll find facts about the Dragon Masters and their powerful dragons, review secrets from me and other wizards, study world maps, learn the history of Dragon Masters, and 1,000 other facts that I'm not sure if I can express out. No, but it just, it just says, learn the history of Dragon Masters and more. So then, it says, from Griff's, Griff of the Greenfields, Frail Wizard, to King Roland of Bracken. So then, it says over here this little letter. So it says that I may be a great wizard, but I'm not a great writer. I turned this to my friend Tracy of the West for helping me with this part. She is a teller of tales, and she agreed to turn my notes into a guidebook. Some of his other friends have converted into this book too. Read on soon, you'll become the best dragon master you hope to be. Yours are magic crystal of the Greenfields. There are two more there are two more paragraphs that I haven't read, so you might want to read those. So let me just point out something. This is the thing that I really love. They tell the Dragon Master the thing, everything, they express out places. They show how the person came rolled and stuff like that, how they got the Dragon Master. But this really cool part, whenever they're expressing out dragon, I love it. It says, amazing worm, the Earth Dragon. Worm is an amazing dragon. The powers of his mind can do almost anything. Dragon Master, Drake George. Worm can instantly transform to any place in the world. He can move things using the power of his mind. He can make objects fly or even throw them. He can make a part of large and balls. He can use the energy to create a protective shield. He can also often sense when danger is coming. He can shoot beams, beams from his eyes. So the, it just shows what the dragon can do. And it even shows power color green. Wow. It says length 42 feet, weight 7,100 pounds. Literally give you the weight training tip. Feeding worm and apple. And there's like little sessions like over here. Favorite fruit. There's like a little part there that the Griff just usually adds. See? It says sun dragon of one major weakness. Being near dark magic can make them very sick. From Griff. See it says so then like Griff's add Griff adds little notes in this one. So it says Tracy of the West. That's actually Tracy West, the writer of these books. And it's, I love the way Tracy West wrote these books because it's like Griff's actually talking to you. I love the way all authors do that. When I grow up, I want to be an author and travel the world. And I also want to try and invent new things. I already have one thing in mind, a dishwasher robot that has robot hands and can put the dishwashers in the dishwasher by itself. If I met, if I like took an interview with this, with Tracy of the West, or Tra just Tracy West. If I had interviewed her, I would ask her why she chose dragons for a series. Like, like, I would ask her why did she specifically choose dragons, and where did she get the idea for Dragon Masters? Because usually when we have tales of dragons and like Chinese culture and everything else, it's like them being free or attacking, or it's usually of that. So I like this dragon friendly, you might say, idea and human friendly also idea and I would also like to tell her like that I I am so amazed at how she literally it's like she literally it's like the dragons are actually alive I think they're alive because she literally puts in the pounds how did she get the idea for the pounds how did she know how many how much it is maybe she just maybe she's just a dragon expert but in this one it's really really cool over here let me show you something I know the lightning dragon it says, length, two, 12 feet, weight. He will not stay long enough for Diego to weigh him, weigh him. And because he is made of energy, it is possible that he doesn't have any real weight. Look how specifically she did that. That's so amazing. She could have just thought up a number. But she actually 
was she was being so thoughtful when she did that. Literally, I'm like made out of energy has no real weight. That's such a. I just. I would just ask her how she got the idea for these books and how she's so specific with everything. And I would also ask her if she loves tiny little details. I, 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 ask me for details. I can give you that. Because I love details. But I cannot go into teeny tiny details, especially when there's a book report due tomorrow. But if there was a book report, which I've never done before, I don't know what it is, um, the, I basically write down the whole book. I'm amazing at expressing these books. And... I would also ask Tracy if she was a bookworm as a child. Because usually, authors are usually bookworms, and I read in the Harry Potter Big Book of Facts. I'll be doing a review on that one soon. I read in the Harry Potter Big Book of Facts. It says that um, J.K. Rowling was a bookworm as a child, and I am I am a bookworm right now. I, I'm, I not was a child, I am still a child. Yeah, I'm obviously still a child, see? I'm just this tall, standing up. And I'm also kind of a shorty pants. Um, but anyway, I'll just ask Tracy, like, how does she ever, how is she so specific with it? How does she like do a different type of dragon? I just love the way she did it. And my brother always plays a little game with me. Like he pretends to be one of the dragons or one of the people. And then he wants me to always be the dragon master. I actually kind of enjoy it because then I can talk. Dragon can't talk. He has to be quite all. I think I only read two pages out of this book. I don't know if that's enough or not enough, uh, but it's been eight minutes already, 23, 24, and so on. I just want everyone in the whole wide world, first, read the Dragon Master series, then read this book. Then, maybe if you have time and if you can try and accomplish it. Can you try and get an interview with Tracy West? Maybe I can join you on it. Just saying. Anyway, with that, I'll say bye. Read this book. I left out like um, a thousand pages.